good news. We made it. We're at the Magic Kingdom. We scanned in. Everything's set. And I got this commemorative map. I'm so excited. It's the 50th. Happy 50th birthday to my favorite place on planet Earth. I don't think I've ever shown these banners. They've been here for a while. But they're so pretty. They have little gems on them. I'm so excited to be here right now. I was very worried we wouldn't get in. The Main Street Philharmonic. If you want to see something crazy, this is the line for the Emporium. Can you see, actually? Let me move a little closer. See how it loops around and goes all the way down Main Street? That is insane. There's also another line over here that I thought the other day was for the confectionery, but now I think it's actually for the vintage collection of merchandise. I'm gonna ask the cast member. Maybe we could get something from the new confectionery and then start our exciting trip for today. The confectionery is back in business. Look at this candy wall over here. It's sponsored by Mars Wrigley now. I don't know if it always was. Let's see how bakery cases, because that's that's really the good stuff. Oh, these are so cute. They have Skittles fudge. Wow. These M&M Mickey apples are so adorable. So the way they do it is you order something here, and then you come over here and you get the item with your receipt. I'm gonna get something that sounds interesting to me. They have a glass wall so that you can see the work being done. I always love that about the candy shops here. Wow, gosh, everything looks so delicious. I think they have a, yep, they have a make your own popcorn situation over here. Wow. Stumbled into a cavalcade. Peter Pan's over there. Hi, Peter. <laughs> Moana's up there, too. They have special new balloons for the 50th. The ones that are kind of pinkish on the outside. I might have to get one on my way out. All right, so. We're at the bottom of Main Street. I did get something from the confectionery. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to show the crowds. It is crowded, not as crowded, like not the most crowded I've ever seen it. It's not my thing. But crowded for sure. I just spoke to a cast member and she said that I made it just in time because they closed and hit capacity at 320 and stopped letting people in. So I literally just made it. All right, so it is 345 right now. My plan, and let me know what you guys think in the comments if you thought this was a good idea, is I'm gonna try to ride as many opening day attractions on their 50th anniversary as I can today, before and after the fireworks. I'm really excited for it. I was gonna also eat at the opening restaurant, the Diamond Horseshoe, but I cannot because I don't have anything that I could eat. But I'm excited to do all the rides and I'm excited to take you along with me. I don't know if this is a new statue or what because this is not the regular Mickey statue, but I love him. He's very gold and he doesn't have the 50th on here. I'm interested by this. All right, so one of the opening day attractions is the teacups. I'm not gonna ride it right now. I'll try to ride it later. I'm afraid of teacups because they make me nauseous, but we are going towards the direction of our first ride of the day. We are starting with the Tomorrowland Speedway, which used to be called the Grand Prix Raceway. I don't know the last time I was on this ride, but it's definitely been a while. I can tell you that. Trying construction. I'm not holding the wheel in this car at all. Whee! So cool seeing it from down here. And Space Mountain. That was honestly so fun. Even as someone who can drive a car and hates driving a car, I had a really good time doing that. I'm really surprised. I would do that again. And now we're heading to our next one. I'm really probably just gonna go in a, like a semi-circle because I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. So next is Dumbo. Next is Dumbo the Flying Elephant. We know I love Dumbo and especially because I'm on my favorite Dumbo that I've tried to ride every time. Let me show you. He's pink with a blue tram around his hat. I love this one. I do it every time. Thanks, Dumbo. 
There's been a huge crowd gathered over here. I don't know why. Maybe there's merch in here or something. I'm not sure. Okay, that line is for merchandise. Um, I already have my merchandise. I got from Epcot in a five minute line this morning, which seems like it was the right way to go. <laughs> so now we're heading to the next attraction, which might be Small World, might be Carousel. We'll see. It's gonna be fun either way. We are keeping an order, so the Carousel is next. I actually love the Carousel, but we never ride it. Today's the day. We'll go on this one. It's 50th anniversary colors. Cinderella's uh, horse is right there. It's special because it has a gold little ribbon around its tail. But I think my horse is special too. Here we go. Wild ride. It's a wild ride. <laughs> that actually was a lot longer of a ride than I thought it would be. It's really fun. It's worth the one minute wait. Carousels are also super special to Disney World because Walt Disney thought of Disneyland while sitting on a bench watching his kids on a carousel. So, it's iconic, needed to be done today. Next is Small World with only a five minute wait. It's very colorful in here. I didn't like it at first, but now I like it. Now that I expect it, I like it. There's some sort of delay right now. I feel like this always happens when I go on Small World is it says it has a short wait time. And it does have a short wait time, but not as short as they say. That was some really nice air conditioning and relaxation. Next up is Peter Pan's flight posted at 30 minutes. If you're curious about timing, I've been doing this for an hour and 15 minutes and I've gotten on four rides so far. Yay! And off we go! You know what to do, everybody. Hi, Nana. I know, I know. Peter Pan technically opened on October 3rd, not October 1st, but I think it still counts as an opening day attraction. I'd say most people consider it an opening day attraction. I always love that ride. Either way, it stopped a couple times and it was actually really jarring. It kind of scared me. <laughs> so Peter Pan turned into a thrill ride. But now we're going on to the next ride of the day, which is the Haunted Mansion. Is this haunted room surely stretching? We love the silly spooks in the Haunted Mansion. It was so much fun. I know that next I'm supposed to be going to the Hall of Presidents, but I'm not going to do it. And there's two reasons why. One is because it's 25 minutes and I don't have that much time left to do as many as I possibly can. And I also don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do it and it'll change my mind, but it just doesn't really seem of interest to me. And I have some more things to do. I will be seeing a show, but not the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> okay, here it is. The Hall of Presidents. I did want to point it out. It's in Liberty Square, across from the Christmas shop. I'm sure it's really nice. I just, I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Maybe I will after the fireworks, depending how much time I have, but not right now. Another opening day situation is that Diamond Horseshoe. Again, I can't eat here because they don't have Julia friendly food, but it was an opening day attraction, so I wanted to point it out. Here is the shooting arcade, which surprised me to know that it was an opening day attraction. I don't know if this is the line, I'll ask, but it looks like they're just letting you play for fun for, and for free. There was no line for this. I was just nervous. I guess we just pick this up and start shooting at stuff. Let's try it. Meh. That was fun. I shot at a couple targets. I got a couple of them. Honestly, that gun was really heavy, so it was hard to do it with one hand, so I couldn't show you too well. But I did try, and it was fun. Next, for a shorter show than the Hall of Presidents, the Country Bear Jamboree. I just missed a show, but I'm happy to wait here in the air conditioning for 10 minutes for the next one. <laughs> Country Bears is 
always hysterical and always they are hysterical they always crack me up even though I know it's coming it's so funny I can't imagine what people would have thought 50 years ago <laughs> but it is funny now and I like it and it was really cute because we sang happy birthday to them and like everybody was going crazy there was a guy behind me who knew every single word to every single song that they sang it was, it was impressive <laughs> so yeah there are some Country Bear fans out there, I'm one of them. I hope they don't get rid of it too, because it's really fun. So my window for picking up my mobile order that I placed this morning at like 9 a.m. for the Minnie Mouse Snipper is gonna open in about 15 minutes. So my plan is to do the Tiki Room and the Swiss Family Treehouse before the fireworks, then get my sipper and my dinner from Casey's. Spoiler alert, yum. And then after the fireworks, get on the Jungle Cruise and maybe if there's time or if I'm feeling it, the Hall of Presidents and the Tiki Cups. Tiki, 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 Tiki Room. The opening day attractions are very popular today, which makes a lot of sense. The Tiki Room is always fun. It always reminds me of back in the day, not that I was, you know, an Imagineer with Walt Disney, but famously the first time he had seen the show he said to the Imagineers like that was really good but why aren't they breathing and the Imagineers were like the birds are fake and he was like I know but if they were real they'd be breathing so when you go to the tiki room you should look at the little bird chest because they do move up and down like they're breathing because well thought that that was an important detail that if they wanted to be realistic they need to breathe all right we're gonna take a quick trip in the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse and then get some food this is actually really pretty. This is amazing. Much like Tom Sawyer Island, I'm blown away. We have another cool water situation. Quite like that. And it just looks so pretty down here. You can see Spaceship Earth from up here. Very cool. There's a bedroom up here, that's fun. It would be cool to stay up here for real, but the real selling point is this. You can see the castle and Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth, Space Mountain, I keep calling it that. Really cool views from up here, especially at sunset. I kind of sped through that because I need to go to Cosmic Grace to get my slipper so they don't give it away because I ordered it this morning. But that was really awesome. It offers so many cool views. However, it is not accessible to people who are handicapped, or even people who have bad knees. <laughs> I don't know that I suggest it, it's a lot of stairs. But if you are able to do that kind of thing, with all those stairs, I would try it out. It was really fun up there. I don't think I've ever done that before. I got my mini zipper. She's so cute. And they have new cups for the 50th. Very cool. It was an epic disaster, but I got it. I'm gonna eat really fast so I can try to see the fireworks. post firework show I honestly I didn't have a good view so I really couldn't show you I'm gonna watch it when I go home and I'll tell you my thoughts in a bit but she looks beautiful right now all right we're going on the jungle cruise it's a 50 minute wait it's after the fireworks it's gonna be a fun one this is the last opening day attraction that I want to hit today No victory. Finished up on the Jungle Cruise, which was, of course, hilarious, and the last attraction I wanted to do today. So now we have bonus attractions, which is going to start with Pirates. The girl loves to walk on. It is 10.30. I am very wet after that Pirates ride. So what do we think about doing Thunder Mountain and Splash Mountain? I think that sounds good. It says Big Thunder is 25 minutes or 20 minutes i don't buy it we're gonna go on and then we're gonna go on splash hopefully both 
because I'm hot. I could use some more splashing. Only a 10 minute wait, so we will be able to make it onto Splash. Woo! Splash is also a walk on. Splash was so much fun. I love doing it at night because you can see the castle and everything all lit up nicely. But now I'm just going to head home and I'll check back in with you guys when I'm in the room. I just wanted to show real quick that I'm the only person anywhere in sight except a couple of cast members. And it's only 11.15. The park closed at 11. All right, we're back in the room. It was so easy to get a bus. It was right there when I got there, which was amazing. So let's talk about enchantment for a second. And then I'm gonna try the whatever I got, the Skittles cookie pie thing. And then we're gonna close out. So what I'm gonna say, take it with a grain of salt because my view was really bad. It was extremely obstructed. I couldn't really see the projections super well or the fireworks, but I got the main idea and I could hear the soundtrack. So I can't say much about the fireworks. The projections that I saw, they were not at the level of Happily Ever After at, at all. Um, they're cool, but they're, they're not, it's not seamless the way Happily Ever After is. But I think my biggest gripe with it is the soundtrack. I don't, I don't like it. It's not interesting or exciting. It just feels a little flat to me, whereas Happily Ever After was so dynamic. But that doesn't mean that it's not a good show. I mean, Disney's not going to put out something that's like actually not good like I may not personally like it but it's not poorly done or anything like that I just I think it could have been better and one of the biggest complaints that I saw in like the Facebook groups that I agree with is that they did a lot for this show of like the new movies like Frozen 2 was in it and Moana which I love Moana don't get me wrong but there was nothing really old in there and there were no tributes to Walt or the parks and this was supposed to be like the 50th anniversary show so it seems a little weird that they left those things out no Mickey no n none of that but I'm not attached to it I didn't feel any emotion listening to the music or watching it but you may feel differently if you've seen it I would love to know what you think I feel like it's very a very divisive show right now those are my thoughts maybe they'll change it'll it could grow on me you never know but putting that aside we're gonna try this Skittles cookie I got a long time ago now at the confectionery. Here's my Skittles cookie thing. It smells really sweet. I'm so curious about this. Some of the Skittles fell out stuck to the bottom. Hmm, that's weird. I'm gonna have another bite. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I love this. It's really strange. Really, really strange. Cause you're eating the cookie and all of a sudden, there's like a chewy Skittle, but it's such a burst of flavor. Wow. I love this. Definitely recommend. Don't be surprised when there are chewy Skittles inside your cookie. <laughs> this is delicious. That wraps up today's video. Today was an amazing day for the 50th anniversary. It's in a different video, but I started the day at Epcot, which was fun. A little overwhelming, but it was fun. And then we went to Magic Kingdom, and that was probably one of my best Magic Kingdom days of all time. I did all the opening attractions that I wanted to do. The only two I did not do that were still available were the teacups, because I didn't want to get sick and ruin my day, and um, the Hall of Presidents, because it's a longer show and I'm just not super into it. So I would have, I wanted to instead spend that time doing the Tiki Room, the Country Bear Jamboree, and the Swiss Family Tree House, which I think was a better use of time. I love today, so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video because I really enjoyed making this. I had such a good time doing this. For time reference, I started around 3, 45, 4 o'clock. So I got a lot done today, <laughs> it was really good. So with all of that being said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys and Disney vlogs. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!